I'm gonna make a video this morning. Yeah, and I'm just thinking out loud, really. Um, I saw a post by my sister the other day. And this is obviously not a go on my sister. I love my sister, she's great. Uh, and I know that there was some truth in it, but I know there was also some, um, like a joke in it as well. She's, she's funny. But she was, she posted a video of how France is rioting and she's saying that all the, uh, <clears throat> the lighting incense and meditation's not working. We, we, we've better start uh, rioting now, basically. And uh, I didn't, don't really want to address it, but I, I have to address it because on a spiritual level, um, it's, an, it's very important, it's actually a very important point, okay? If I don't address it, then I'll get a lot of karma. Um, let's say my sister was joking, like she was, just, she was just putting it out there as a laugh, but it plants a seed in a lot of people's heads that think that that's the way we need to go. Um, <clears throat> the seeds we plant come back, okay? It's like when we plant seeds in the garden, they'll grow. If, especially if we keep watering them and we keep looking after them. So the seeds we plant out in 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 life, in people's consciousness, uh, grow. Especially if they're seeing more of that, what that seed is planted, more more things that will water that plant, then they're definitely going to grow. And we really have to take our future lives into account because the physical body, it's like putting on... It's like putting on a pair of jeans, okay? The, the, the body fills the jeans and the jeans can move around. There's life in the jeans because the body's in the jeans, okay? As soon as the body takes off the jeans, the jeans are just a dead, dead material, just falls on the floor. Well, this body will just fall on the floor when there's no soul in it, okay? So this physical body can either save our soul's journey okay and progress our future in this life and also progress our future in, in last in, in, in future life sorry or it can really really catapult us downward okay in a downward spiral and we can we we will experience whatever suffering seeds we plant okay and you know, that the comment that she made, which is funny, you know, I know my sister, she's a funny bugger, and, you know, it did make me chuckle a little bit about, uh, you know, the sages and the meditations not working. But the truth is, we haven't done it. We haven't done it. We have not. We've not done nowhere near enough meditation, and I'm taking responsibility for myself. I haven't done enough meditation. We can prove that it works, but we just don't do it. You look at, you look at since all this... Um, nonsense has happened in 2020 with with the current lockdowns and the current situation even people i know meditate are struggling meditating because there's so much information in the field everyone's waking up putting their phone on and they're reading five articles or watching five videos and it's all negative okay it's all the the bad things that are going on because a lot of people don't realize this but the body Right, the chemistry released from the brain when it sees negative news is addictive to the body. Okay, just as people, the body can get a, 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 a addicted to positive chemicals, it can also get addicted to negative ke chemical release. And this is why they call it fear porn, because porn uh, typically is addictive. I speak to a lot of people who have got an addiction to porn. Um, because the, the, the body releases chemistry um, as if it's happening now, okay? So, uh, so and, and that's why it's an addiction as well, because uh, when your tolerance levels keeps increasing, the dopamine hit needs to be bigger so that the, the porn becomes more perverted, for example, right? Well, it's the same with negative news, okay? The, the, the news has to keep getting worse and worse and worse. But we live in a, in a completely balanced yin-yang world, which means that there is just as much good news out there. And I've seen a lot of good videos. And that's what should be getting shared and watched. Uh, and I do think good things are happening, but we haven't meditated enough. We haven't um, really tried that avenue of let's try and put peace into the field. And 
Again, this isn't like singling out my sister. I'm not pointing it out. I'm just, this is just generally addressing that mindset. If there's a number of people out there who think this is the way to go, we don't want to riot because what we fight is what we become and we get more of it. And I'll tell you something else as well. Those at the top who are creating order through chaos, which is their motto, they don't care if you storm their government buildings. They're laughing because the people who are fighting each other, the gangs who are rioting against the, the riot police, they're, they're laughing because they see them on the chessboard. That's why the Masons have the black and white checkered floor in their in symbology is because we're on the chessboard. They see themselves as the chess masters. So rioting and they're beating up, the, putting pressure on the police and storming the, the, the government buildings is doing nothing but playing into their hands. They win. They win 100%. I'm not saying activism isn't important. You know, marching, two million people marching for peace in London and letting their presence be seen and felt is, is definitely all for that, 100%. Um, but, but, but riots isn't. I woke up the other day and I watched, because I got sent, and don't get me wrong, I can watch things and I'm not that attached to them, okay? Because I've, I've been working on myself for 11 years solid. Um, but I did uh, watch in one morning, which is quite rare for me, but I watched a few videos of riots in France. I watched riots in the Ukraine. I watched what was going on in South Africa and Iran and all of the floods that's going on in China. And it's, it's sad. You can't say it's sad. Do you really want riots on your doorstep? No, you don't. Do you really want your kids to be around riots? No, you don't. You really don't want that. It's it's not a solution. It's not. Um, num people coming together in numbers and, and making themselves heard. Yeah, but you know, when riots come, you've got to remember the world's changing all the time. Riots. Let's say the, the amount of people overpower the police. Okay? Not, not the people at the top. But if they use force to overpower the police, it's going to give them a perfect narrative a perfect reason to bring in robots as police which is they're coming in anyway there's one in new zealand they've just said that most truck drivers are going to be robots soon okay uh, most people in most workplaces are going to be taught by robots they have in uh, japan they have robots teaching meditation and uh, and and teaching kids in some parts okay so you imagine the police force being robots imagine driving down your street going to the shops, and when a police car goes past, there is AI robots driving them. That's not a world we want to be in, mate, because I tell you, they, this is why I'm trying to reach out to police, because police's numbers, is, is days are numbered. There's no need for a police force soon, okay? It's coming. This is why the police are typically the people, okay? They need to wake up and see that um, they are us. They're protecting... They're protecting people who don't care about them. And they won't have a job soon. They won't have a job within five years, I reckon. I really do believe that. Um, but, you know, I'm also reading a lovely book on Buddhism right now. Yeah, so in this audio, but he talks about uh, a teaching that a guru got, a, a famous Rinpoche, a Tibetan master, what he got from his guru. And his guru said, all he said to him, he said, meditate on this all the time. He said... I will die and you will die. And he said that he said that was the only thing he ever taught me in my whole lifetime with him. <laughs> every teaching was in that. He said, I will die and you will die. He said, reflect on this every day. And he said, because if you do spiritual practice in preparation for death, and you have done virtuous deeds for the benefits of all sentient beings in your life and you meditate on death, and you're prepared for death, when death comes, you're ready, you're fearless. And not only that, the purpose of reflecting on you will die and I will die is you won't waste any time. Okay, you won't waste time. You won't fucking watch Netflix for four hours, eight hours a day. You will dedicate your life to, to moving forward spiritually, okay? You will, you will dedicate your life to saving others in a beneficial way. So, 
what we do is we think that's never going to come. We completely waste our time focusing on the past and pre uh, past and future and fucking watching shit movies that don't save us and watch fear porn and, and all the rest of it. And uh, the years just pass by like this because we're constantly focusing on the future, the future, the future. And then when death comes, we're terrified. We don't know what's going to happen. And we enter the bar door, which is the in-between state in fear. And that's not where we want to be. That's exactly where the dark occultists who run the planet want us to be. That's exactly where they want us to be. Okay? I'm going to make a video on this space launch. Okay? Yeah, with all the the, the, the the billionaires, and I'm going to cover this, what I'm going to say again. But but what I want to say is, you look at what the world's doing right now. People can't go anywhere. They're getting forced into get vaccinated against their will, whether they agree with it or not. Their um, family members are dying, lonely. They can't go and see each other. They're losing their businesses, okay? They can't go to work. And these billionaires are faking going to space. But even if they are going to space, don't matter. I'll cover that in the next video. The people are cheering them on. You know that Bezos made the comment. He said, I just want to thank everyone that works on Amazon and buys things off Amazon because you paid for this. And it's fake. They tricked us in the 70s. Now they think they're going back somewhere that they went to in the 70s. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to make a, a proper video on it because... I'm going to show you how much of a joke this is on, on the people. And the people are cheering them on. Oh, these billionaires, the world's so shit. They're going to find another place for us to go. What a bankrupt state of mind that is. A spiritually, mental, emotional bankrupt uh, huma humanity. I'm telling you now, this is the dark ages. There is an awakening going on and I'm optimistic. But uh, this... You know, everything's in reverse. You know, you see these cavemen that have evolved and evolved and evolved to where we are now. It's the complete opposite. We have been, uh, our history is wrong. We have been a uh, very enlightened, harmonious way of living. And we have gone down, down, down. We can't compose music like we used to. We can't do architecture like we used to. Uh, mathematics is dying, it's gone. You know what I mean? Uh, language everything we are going down we are this is like it's a flip we haven't come from cavemen to this point we have come from um beautiful human beings and worked our way back to cavemen we just got technology now and uh, it's a concern but i just wanted to make this video it was just obviously in me i needed to get it out Rioting is not the way to go. It really isn't. And if you before you, you jump that gun, maybe give meditation a go. Because I'm telling you now, forget about what's going on in the world, right? If you can create peace within you, you're going to live in a peaceful world. I live in a peaceful world. My world's peaceful. Because I'm peaceful inside, okay? Even if I watch things outside, they can sadden me. And I, and I make them more of a commitment to help and do more. Okay, they, they inspire me, but they don't make me, they don't disrupt my peace. And I haven't, I'm, I'm, I'm like a baby on the spiritual journey. I haven't achieved anything. I haven't attained anything, but it's helped me big time. So before saying we need to riot and go back to our animal nature, okay, animal nature. Let's look at the, 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 the Jesus, okay. Uh, Jesus, when he was getting crucified, let's, let's use Jesus. Everybody was, yeah, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Pack animal nature, okay, jumping on the bandwagon. When he was dying and when he was begging for forgiveness for the people who were killing him, right, when he died, they all thought, oh, shit, maybe he was someone, okay? But there was only one person out of all those people who was conscious and evolved, and it was Jesus. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Catholic. Okay, I'm just using his example here. He was the conscious one. And the difference between him and everybody else was he turned the darkest of practices into light and has been an example for billions of people in the years after that. So do you want to be, where, where do you want to be? Do you want to be someone who stands for peace because they know that that's, where we need to be, or do you want to be someone who's going to be a pack animal 
uh, who's just going to follow the crowd and wants riots in the streets because I promise you that will not fix the problems right now. It won't. I'm telling you, if it gets to the point where we need to get on the streets, I'm there. Okay, I'm there. It, it, it's 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 important, and the people need to wake up and come together. But to say that focusing on peace and meditation doesn't work, and we need to start writing, it's not. And this is nothing to do with my sister. She said that, but it was. I'm very grateful she said that because it's obviously on a lot of people's minds. Okay, that's why I'm addressing it. It's not having a go at my sister. It's just addressing the the topic. Um, before we think that, give it a go. Just give it a go. You know. You know, this is a lot of people who are saying these things. I've never tried meditating. Can't sit quiet for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I love you all. Uh, take care. And watch out for my next video. It's gonna be, I'm going to edit a good video. I'm going to do a good video just breaking down this whole space malarkey. I love you all. Take care.